we're driving right now is the Toyota Sequoia. It just it just rolled in, but I, I don't get to drive it much. I get to drive it to the airport because today. I get to drive it. Yeah, Kathy's driving it after me. Whoa! But uh, we're going to the airport because today I'm headed to Boulder, Colorado, and uh, Kathy's got to stay home. Party at my house. Yeah, but I'm taking you guys with me, so that's gonna be cool. Shelby collection. Uh, we're going to auto archives. Okay. Uh, we see Steve Angman. He has a very large collection of promo models. Great. We see Bud Cullen. He has a large collection of Hot Wheels, and we do a few other things. All right. Sounds like a plan. But first thing we got to do is find his car. Find your car. It's over there. Okay. <laughs> see the morning light. So we're here in Boulder, Colorado, and we're here to visit with Christian and his team. They're the ones that run the company Hobby DB, which is kind of like a, well, it is. It's the eBay for diecast collectibles, really all things collectible. And they also have what is now the Model Car Hall of Fame, which used to be the Diecast Hall of Fame. Now, it's a large group of people. They all love diecast and the whole nostalgic thing about collecting. And me being a big collector myself, I thought it'd be fun to come out to Boulder and check these guys out. So tonight, pretty much all we're gonna do is go have dinner, meet some of the team, then I'm gonna crash, and we're gonna start the day big tomorrow. Uh, the Bottle Car Hall of Fame, and wait, there we go. 
We're gonna eat now. That's what's happening. Nice prints. Uh, just so you guys know, I'm gonna be wearing the exact same clothes every day for the next couple of days. Not my socks and underwear, but you know, I'll change those things. But uh, basically this, this, this. A little past eight and we're heading to the Shelby collection with these guys. Say hello, gentlemen. Hi. Hey there. <laughs> we'll get more into what these guys do, but we're heading across town. How far away is this place? Uh, about a couple couple miles, yeah, okay. about 10 minutes. Okay, we'll be there shortly. This is John. Uh, we dropped off Christian back at um, Hobby DB business and we're heading to the Shelby collection. And John is the uh, mastermind behind the model car hall of fame. Nice job. But he's also a newbie, so uh, it's kind of new to you. Yes, definitely still learning. I mean, have they saddled you with too much work or are you good? <laughs> no, I think it's just enough. So the Hall of Fame, I mean, it's a celebration of all that's best about die cast. Mm -hmm. You know, this is something where it's, you know, it's not casual, it's not like you know, you have these things like you have your sort of commuter car where it's just an appliance, you know. These are people that are passionate about the models they collect. Yeah. Whether it's, yeah, whether it's vintage models, slot cars, you know, newer stuff. And so what I do is, you know, and what the Model Car Hall of Fame does, you know, we really seek to channel that so that we can gather the community together mm -hmm. and, and celebrate these things yeah. with an event, you know, give it sort of what it deserves. Right. Planning out the, the future as far as the celebration this year. Mm -hmm. We're still getting out a few trophies from last year as well. Right. Uh, to brands like BMW who won our brand of the year. So we're gonna see probably one of the, the coolest and most extensive collection of you know, the original Cobras. You know, mm -hmm. started Shelby as kind of a household name in the muscle car community. Right and made it what it is today. And you guys said that there's three or four cars that are the most expensive cars on the planet here in this collection. Right, yeah. So, you know, some of the most rare and you know, hard to find the original yeah. cars that were prototypes. He's gonna let us drive those, right? <laughs> no. We can only hope. No, it's not gonna happen. Right. incredible Shelby collections uh, in the world. Uh, there are so many priceless pieces of Shelby history here. It's overwhelming, uh, but I think we need to talk to the guy that handles all this. This is Steve and we are at the, what's the official title? The American Sh uh, Shelby American Collection. First of all, we live here in Colorado mm -hmm. uh, and there's, there's a, a handful of us. We were racing these cars, mm -hmm. uh, racing Cobras actively. And uh, back in the 90s, we started collecting memorabilia and, and more cars. Uh, Did it start out with the little ones? 
Yeah, of course. Since we're talking diecast. Yeah. Yeah, when we were kids. Sure. And, and uh, good friends with Carl Shelby. Mm-hmm. And we approached him in 96 because it dawned on us that, you know, nobody had done a museum to commemorate everything that he's done. Yeah. I mean, he ushered in the muscle car era. He won Le Mans in 66 and 67. He won the USRRC championship, SCCA championship, and he won the World Manufacturers Championship in 1965. Wow. First time America's done it. We've never done it since, yeah. you know, with the Cobras. We had to tell that story. Yeah. And so we, that's why we set it up as a nonprofit. Okay. Uh, and, and there's a lot of aspects. This is George right here. He's, uh, he's going around yeah, George is wipe, museum wiping the cars down. <laughs> Give me that, George. Give me that rank. Winner. Is your favorite one. Pick it, because I'm going to get you the keys. It's the Sunbeam. <laughs> 260, you know, one of the pre-AC, pre-Shelby. Yeah. Okay. That, for me, is just the perfect car. Okay. Which one's yours? It's strange, but i got to go with the uh, Falcon panel wagon over here. That's my second favorite. Yeah, that's unusual. first Cobra uh, from 1962 that uh, Carol did and uh, you know this is the famous Cobra that was uh, painted different colors you know it, it went out to different magazines it was yellow and it was blue and he would bring it back and repaint it to give the impression that he had more than one of these <laughs> and, and I gotta tell you you know I know when you look at this it's got really skinny tires and wire wheels but in 1962, this was amazing. I mean, this car weighs about 2,200 pounds. You know, Ford V8 in it, you know, it was a 260. But nonetheless, this thing really moved. And in 1962, it was, it was a phenomenal performance. It uh, belonged to Carroll Shelby. You know, Carroll Shelby passed away in 2012, of course. And uh, his family put this up for auction. Uh, it, it went to auction. One of our supporters, the Larry H. Miller family, uh, purchased it, and now we have it here for the public to enjoy. And next to it is one of the six Daytona coupes. This guy is the most significant of the six Daytona coupes. Uh, you know, this is the Le Mans Daytona and Sebring winner. It's driven by Bob Bondurant. And then right next to it is uh, an FIA Cobra Roadster, and this is the FIA Cobra Roadster. Uh, this ran with the coupes in Europe in 64 and in 65. Between these two cars, this Daytona Coupe and this FIA Roadster, they, they accumulated 60% of the points for the World Manufacturers Championship. And the, the neat thing about this car, aside from the fact that it was driven by uh, Phil Hill, Bob Bondurant, Sir John Whitmore, uh, Joachim Niers Posh, Roy Salvadori, and it has five first place FIA wins. Aside from all that, it is totally unrestored, and it is the only unrestored uh, factory team car. So. So I grew up in Kansas City, and when I was in high school, I worked for Suburban Lawn and Garden, and my job was to go fix sprinkler control timers. Sprinkler control timers are in people's garages, so I had to go out and over the park. And I went to this guy's house one day, and in, in his garage uh, was a 427 Cobra, a uh, Mongusta de Tommaso, and a, a GT40 Mark I and I had never seen those cars so close up, and I flipped, and we became good friends. I got into vintage racing in the 80s and started racing a Ferrari 275 GTB, and I just got creamed by the Cobras, and it all came together for me, and I hooked up with Bill Murray, 
uh, from Murray Racing out here in Colorado, and he is like the center of the universe for not only Cobra Racing, but Cobra Restoration, and, and he was a, he's a historian, the whole nine yards. And his brother, David, is our curator here. Contacted Carol and said, look, this time around, we're gonna build um, the Shelby, the definitive Shelby American collection. So we had our first big event here in 1996, and you know, all the guys came, and, uh, you know, obviously Carol. That's when they saw mm. that, oh my God, you know, this guy's really gonna do it. very first race car. This is CSX uh, 2002, and it's so it's third Cobra built. Mm -hmm. We acquired this uh, really early on. The, the Larry H. Miller family uh, purchased it. We uh, had it for I don't know almost 20 years, and you can you can see that uh, it, it's a very early car. It's got the kidney bean wheels, uh, no vents on the side, and uh, and the early hardware. But what's cool is uh, this trailer that it's sitting on. This is the original trailer that Carroll Shelby used to haul cars back and forth to Riverside, you know, for testing. And we've got the tow vehicle too. Our mission here is to teach. And uh, when I approached Carroll Shelby in 1996, and I first met him in the 80s when I, uh, I was racing at Road Atlanta, and he came in the, into the pits. You know, he was kind of uh, had a low profile in the early 80s, and we became friends. And when I approached him in 1996, I said, "Look, nobody has done a. You know, everybody's got a few Shelbys or Cobras in their collection, but nobody has really focused on what you've done for America. How do you feel about us really doing a, a definitive museum that tells the story?" Uh, of your accomplishments, and would, would you support that? Carol said, as long as I'm vertical, I will support you in, in your efforts, and he was good to his work. You know, Carol passed away in 2012. But for me, it was a dream come true, because not only did I get to uh, spend time with Carol Shelby uh, you know, when he would come in, but I got to meet guys like Phil Hill and Bob Bonnerot and Dan Gurney, the heroes, Phil Remington, you know, too many to even begin to name. And, and as a nonprofit organization, you know, we, we need to raise funds every year to keep things going. And so we uh, do a drawing for a brand new uh, Shelby Mustang. Uh, GT350R is this year's car. So you can access that on our website. Our website is shelbyamericancollection.org. something for Steve right there. Yes. What is it, buddy? Well, on behalf of the Model Car Hall of Fame, we would like to present you a limited edition, one of 750 pieces, 1964 Econoline. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Because you don't have enough die cast, buddy. No, we don't. <laughs> yeah. Not enough cars in any sort. That is very cool. Yeah.